What's up, title? Uh, board briefing, Thursday, January 28th. Let's go over the workout first. We got two minutes of speed skaters. Right after two minutes of object jump overs. So like if you're using a dumbbell, we're gonna bound over the dumbbell or box step ups. Two minutes of Superman hold. So every, th every time we pass 30 seconds on that hold, it'll count as one rep. Back into two minutes of speed skaters, two minutes of burpee jump overs. So burpee, get up, jump over the dumbbell or burpee step ups. And then two minutes supine plank. And that one is also every 30 seconds will equal one repetition, okay? Um, prior to that, we got some strength work. Yeah, some bicep curls, right? So we got three sets, 15 bicep curls, 20 plank up downs, rest two minutes between your sets. Our warm up is quite robust, and some of the movements that we have are modifications for the movements in the workout, and some of them are exactly the same, such as lateral hop. So, right, so three, two, one, or not, not three, two, one. We're gonna warm up um, two rounds, 10 curtsy lunges, 10 lateral hops over an object. Uh, 10 jumping lunges, 10 or 30 second Superman hold, 10 burpees, 10 lateral hops, 10 curtsy lunges, 10 jumping lunges, 30 second supine plank hold. All right, so um, just to review some of this, we're gonna start out the warm up pretty hot and heavy. We're gonna get our heart rate jacked up a little bit. We're gonna get a, definitely our core temperature going, okay? Um, it's not exactly a flat out warm up. We're still gonna move well, all that good stuff, right? A couple things here, supine plank hold is in the workout as well. Some people have a hard time getting into that position from their hands, right? So super, sorry, sure, I should explain. Supine plank hold is gonna be, instead of facing down and doing a plank, we're gonna, have, we're gonna be facing up, okay? Butt on nice and tight, body in a nice straight line, Okay, and the slight, slight slope from your head down to your toes. Some of us have a hard time positioning our hands and getting our shoulders open up enough. If that's the case, we can go to our elbows. That works pretty well as well, okay? And if that fails, we'll just go back into a plank, okay? A low plank from our forearms, we'll face the ground. Jumping lunges, curtsy lunges, uh, hopping over dumbbell burpees, Superman hold. This is in the workout as well. So I want you guys to keep in mind as we're warming up and doing this, these holds, uh, especially this one, we want to keep our legs dead straight, okay? Um, we're, instead of bending at the knee a little bit, if we bend at the knee, we're going to start really, really engaging our hamstrings, okay? A little, there's going to be a little engagement through the hamstrings, but we don't want our main focus on our hamstrings. We want main focus on our glutes, right? And uh, tight glutes will help us get our chest up off the ground and our feet up off the ground, right? And what it does is it sort of protects our low back. As soon as we let our glutes go and start bending our knees, we're going to add some pressure to our hamstrings and we're going to add some tension to our low back, which we don't want. So legs straight, heels together, nice and long, pull your chest up, pull your feet off, off the ground. Okay? Bicep curls here. So if we, I know most of us only have a 15 to 35 at home. If you can't do bicep curls like this, which most I know I can't with a 50, I would grab, especially 15 reps, I would just grab the dumbbell uh, by both hands, right? And then we're gonna do curls like this. Now, we're looking for some good contraction in these curls. We're not just like doing this. That's fairly useless, right? We wanna bring that dumbbell up, really squeeze our biceps, and then bring it down in a controlled manner, okay? And the 20 plank up and downs is gonna add to the stress on your arms uh, and muscle fatigue, okay? And shoulders and good stuff like that. Two minutes rest, go for it again. Three rounds. Body pump, arm pump, okay? Um, two minutes of speed skaters. Scaling option for speed skater would be a curtsy lunge. After that, we'll talk about a reverse lunge. Um, no weight involved, body weight exercises. Now, Speed skaters, let's just talk about trying to keep our back flat and bending our knees instead of just rounding our back and reaching from the ground with our hips way up in the air. We should be, our hips should be very low, pretty low to the ground and our knees should be in a lot of bend or flexion, okay? 
So we want to get close to the ground when we're doing this stuff so we're not reaching and bending our back and making our back erectors do all the work. Object jump overs, lateral jump overs are the quickest. Superman hold every 30 seconds. We get that rep, right? Keeping our legs long, everything long and nice and tight. Uh, back to the speed skaters and then burpee object over. So burpee, probably the fastest way to do this burpee lateral jump, okay? You can laterally step if you're getting um, too tired or whatever, but that's not an RX, right? We want two foot takeoff, two foot landing on our lateral hops. And then, or sorry, either lateral hops or box step up for a burpee as well. And then the supine hold, again, 30 seconds equals one rep. And we talked about the lateral, or sorry, the supine hold at the, at the beginning for the warm-up. So have some fun today, guys. Enjoy the workout.